So this is the time in the service when I traditionally pray uh, for our offering that it's pleasing to God and that God would bless it. Uh, today I'm going to do that, uh, but I'm also going to pray for all of you and I'll close uh, with, uh, with the Lord's Prayer. And so let us be together in an attitude of prayer. Wherever you are, however you pray, whatever name you have for God, let us bind our hearts together in praying. Holy One, loving Creator, receive the works of our hands that we commit ourselves to and bless them that they would prosper. Some of us, Lord, are doing work from within our homes to try to support our neighbors, or we're giving of our financial resources to help heal our community. And Almighty God, some of us are leaving our homes to do the work to keep our community moving forward, to protect the elderly or the infirm or the sick. God, we lift up to you all of this labor, all of this work, as pilgrim people, we ask that you would bless our harvest. Holy God, we especially lift up to you in prayer the doctors and the nurses, the caregivers, the physician's assistants, the CNAs, all of those who are in our nursing homes and recovery centers and all of those who work in the hospitals. We lift them up to you and we ask that you would give them strength and wisdom in this incredibly difficult time. We thank you. We thank you for their education for the investment that they've made in, in, in becoming um, vessels of healing. And we ask that you would speed their hands. Holy One, some of us are despairing. This Palm Sunday is unlike anything we've experienced before. Remind us that out of ashes, you brought the entire creation. And though we may hope, remind us of who we hope in. Friends, you are a blessing to me, to one another. You are the good word this week. But if you need to hear it, listen closely. You are deeply and unmovably loved by the God who created you, by the God who will sustain you, and by the God who has redeemed you today and forever. And so be at peace. Amen.